What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So it's been a while, but we got another video today. And today we're gonna to talk about command. And I see a whole bunch of stuff on command. How do you command the ball better? Uh, a bunch of people like complaining that, oh, this person doesn't have command. They don't care about command, bunch of things like that. Uh, but I think one of the main things that most people miss is I don't think command should even be possible. And we're gonna talk about why I think that, but it is so unbelievably difficult. And let's unpack why. So there's an article actually from Kyle Bodie back from 2014. Uh, and in the article, uh, which you can read about it if you click below, it's in the description. Uh, but basically one degree of variance with the initial release trajectory of the ball, change the plate location by a foot. Now, what does that mean? So if you think about your hand and releasing the ball towards the plate, at one degree of variance, whether it's to either side, down, up, anything like that, just one single degree, think about how tiny that is, uh, ended up changing the position of the ball by a foot by the time it got to the plate. So think about that, guys. You're, you're using your legs, generating a bunch of, of energy, sending it to the pelvis, up to the torso, out through the arm and into the ball. And all those pieces have to be within, have to end up in the release trajectory being within one degree to make sure the ball is within one foot. Uh, and that's a, like, so if you wanted to throw it right down the middle, that could be a foot this way, foot this way, foot this way, foot this. So this really like a two foot uh, area uh, that, that you have the potential to throw the ball in, which is so tiny of like one degree, such a tiny little uh, distance that you can miss by ending up in this massive two foot circle that you could throw the ball in. It's unbelievably difficult to get with one degree. And then by the time it gets to the plate, it's gonna be two feet different than where you wanted it to be. Now remember, the plate is only 17 inches wide. So if you're aiming right down the middle and it could go a foot in either direction with a degree, you still could very easily throw a ball uh, with being within one degree. If you just happen to be one degree off to the right, it'll be a ball. One degree off to the left, it'll be a ball. So for you to throw strikes consistently or throw the ball where you want it to be consistently, you have to be within one degree of variance of initial release trajectory, which is just absolutely insane. Now, on top of that, uh, the pitches that you throw aren't going to spin the exact same every single time. So you're going to throw a pitch, it's going to have a, a certain spin rate, a certain spin axis, a certain spin efficiency, all those different things. Uh, and they're not going to be the exact same every single time. And that's going to cause the ball to move differently every single time. And on top of that, you've got balls changing in and out. I don't know about you, but I'm not playing at the big league level. So sometimes we use a ball that's super scuffed up. Sometimes we use a brand new ball. We have a different ball every single time that's going to move differently in the air. You start adding all these variables together and there's another two, three, four, maybe five inches of movement difference from pitch to pitch. That could be either vertically, horizontally. Likely it's gonna be a combination of both. So you add together the fact that you have to get within one degree of initial release trajectory. And on top of that, the ball's not going to spin the same. You're going to have a different ball. It's going to move differently, pretty drastically differently. And you add those two things together. And guys, it's absolutely insane to me that people throw the ball where they want it to go consistently. And it's also absolutely insane to me that people at lower levels of baseball, I'm talking uh, anything below high school, high school, even college, like, it is insane to me that people hold themselves to such high of a standard of command when it's so hard to actually throw the ball where you want it to go. I think you need to reframe your mind. It's command is not this thing that like, uh, it's not a free throw. It's not this free thing that just, oh, there's no one in my way and therefore I can just throw the ball wherever I want it to be. Like it is an unbelievably difficult task. You gotta reframe your mind for that because if you think it's this super easy thing, you're just gonna get super down on yourself and very disappointed, very frustrated, and think you're worse than you are when you can't throw the ball where you want it to go because you don't realize how insane of a task that actually is. So let's say instead of deviating by one degree, you deviated by two degrees. Well, just double that distance. Now, instead of 12 inches away, you're looking at 24 inches away, which then takes this whole big circle that you could throw the ball in, make it 48 inches. That's four feet wide, just with two degrees of variance. So you think about guys, how insane, how bad of a miss it is if you throw the ball off a backstop. 
right? Like uh, you just, coaches would be irate, be like, just attack the hitter, you know, they'd get all in your face, um, say you're not trying, don't care, things like that. Uh, but think about if you threw the ball off the backstop, what did you miss by? You know, three feet, maybe four at the absolute most. And guys, that's a, that's a deviation of a initial release trajectory by four degrees. That's it, four degrees. That's what you missed by. If, if that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to you, draw it on, on a piece of paper. Draw like a 90 degree angle and draw like an 85 degree angle. And look at how insanely similar those two things are. And dads, uh, this uh, I explained this to my dad actually, uh, and he brought up golf. Now think about your golf game, you know? You hit the ball, uh, you take the same swing every single time, you make some tiny little difference, and then the ball ends up like, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 yards away from where you wanted it to be. It's the same exact thing in pitching, but the problem with pitching is, like we said before, the plate's only 17 inches wide. You have this tiny little strike zone you gotta get into, whereas the fairway, you could be much wider than the fairway, but these fairways are, I don't know what courses you play on, but the courses I play on, uh, these fairways are freaking huge. Guys, I hope this gives you a better understanding of why it is absolutely amazing to me that command is even possible. Uh, really, the best thing I think you can do is loosen up your expectations on what your command can be and what actually command can be at all. When you see somebody online, some big leaguer, just dotting the pitch exactly where they want it to go, that isn't just this like, oh, well, they finally did it right and oh, they finally care about this. It is an unbelievable skill, the best of the best of the best, so many baseball players will play this game and not even get remotely close to having even good command, not because they don't care about it, but because it is that hard of a skill to develop. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, drop anything below. I'll get to it when I can. Thanks so much, guys.